Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about an interesting flipping technique that I like to call item sniping. This technique allows you to get massive margins on items that are actually pretty cheap often. You'll be able to get extremely high margins and on top of that you will not really need that much money to actually do this. Anyway guys I hope you enjoy and let's get started. So how does item sniping work? Well, it works because we are going to be selecting extremely low volume items and we're planning on being the only offer in for that item at that time. Now, more often than not, you will be on the buying end of this. For example, you'll be sniping an item for an extremely cheap price and selling it for the regular price. However, the flip side is also possible where you buy an item for the regular price and flip it for an extremely inflated price. However, this is less likely. The reason for that is a lot of the items that we are going to be trying are clue scroll items and they are often obtained by accident or at random. So a lot more people are dumping these items in, which lends more opportunities to being able to snipe a buy offer for an extremely cheap price, but again, either can work. How much money do you need to start sniping? Honestly, you could do this with 1000 GP if you wanted. I would argue that it is more effective uh, for cheaper items because the margins can be extremely large and the investment extremely small. So with item sniping, item selection is crucial. And after that, selecting the proper price is the next most important. So like I said, item selection is the most important. And there's a few different ways to do that. I'm sponsored by GE Tracker, so I'm going to show you how to use GE Tracker first. Uh, but afterwards, I'll show you another way as well. GE Tracker is definitely the easiest and most effective way to find accurate item prices, especially for these items. So there will be a link in the description for a GE Tracker if you are interested. So what we're going to do is we're going to find some high margin items with extremely cheap prices and high uh, return on investments. So on GE Tracker, we're going to go down to the Flip Finder tab and go to the highest margin. From here, we're going to need to filter out some items because a lot of these are way too expensive. And as I showed earlier, we're only going to try it with 1000 GP. So we're going to come over here to the item filter page and then we're going to go into the price max thing and we'll put in uh, 10,000 just to make sure we don't miss out on anything. And we're going to hit save filter and then that's going to filter down uh, every item that is over 10,000 GP. If we come over here to the ROI column and hit it twice, it'll show us the items with the highest ROI at the top. So now we need to do a little bit of critical thinking before we select our item here. So for example, the monkey bones. Are we actually going to be able to buy them for 500 and sell them for 4,200? Possibly. The only reason for that is it's actually a quest item. So it's possible you could get that amount. It's not that likely though. Now let's go have a look at the actual item graph. Now if you see here the buying and selling quantity is extremely high or at least above like 10, uh, you're probably never going to get that margin. Again, not impossible and it still could be worth a try, but it's probably not very likely or at least not very consistent. This graph is a little bit messed up from a few sales that were marked extremely high. Now, if you want to get rid of the outliers, you can enable filtering on the outliers, which is just under here under this little gear icon. Now, that will get rid of any of the extremely high prices, and this will be probably the more likely scenario. Still not a bad item. You could buy the item for 316 and sell it for maybe 1000 That's actually probably reasonably possible and about a 300% return. While 600 GP is not a lot, if you did that three times, that's 1800 repeated that again, you'd probably multiply it by three again. And you just repeat this a few times, you could have 10k before you know it. Let's have a look at the next item here, which is the white headband. Any item that is a clue scroll reward is a pretty safe bet, in my opinion. If you're on the free version of GE Tracker and you just have access to the month graph, this is still pretty viable. If your graph happens to look like this, you want to come up here to the enable split graph feature as well and turn that on. It'll give you the actual margin between the two, which is extremely important. So we can see we can maybe buy this for around 2,800 and sell it for 5,000, which is almost double. If we come down here to the day graph, we can see the most recent price is actually 3,900 into 10,000. Now that probably sounds better. However, you have to be a little bit careful. 3,900 is quite a bit above the normal uh, buy price. And while it is selling for more, there's no guarantee that it'll stay at that price. With items that have such low volume, the price can swing up and down dramatically and extremely quickly. This is really dependent on some random person wanting a white headband. If no one wants it, then, well, you're not going to be able to sell it. So if you're just beginning doing this, I would recommend not buying at this price just because it's higher than the average. If we come down to the month, we can see the average buy price is around 3000 or 3700 If you're going for a margin like this, it's best to try to keep consistent. That way, if you don't manage to sell it for 10000 you can at least still break even or make a small profit. However, with all that being said, that's not actually that much of a risk. So I might try to buy that for 4000 and sell it for 10000 Now quickly just looking at the Super Restore 1 here, I would recommend not doing this item. My reasoning behind this is that it's tied to another item. For one, you're never going to sell a Super Restore 1 for 7000 because if we have a look at the Super Restore 
uh, four, it's only worth 9,000. So that's never going to happen except by extreme fluke. So we'll probably just skip on here to another item, which is the blue dehyde chaps. Let's just quickly put these offers in at that price. Okay, for example, we could put the monkey bones in for eh, 3,020. This actively traded price is insane. And we'll try buying three monkey bones. White headband will buy for 4,001. We actually instantly bought the white headband. Now that is actually possible. It is not necessarily a terrible thing. If we go back and have a look at the white headband, we'll go down to the day graph as well. We can pretty consistently sell this for 5,000. So really, we have a pretty good chance of actually just making 1,000 GP on that, even though we instantly bought it. However, that being said, the graph is showing a potential to sell it for 10,000. We're going to reduce that a bit. Let's try selling it for 8,000. Okay, the next item in the line was the blue dehyde chaps G. G tracker is showing we could buy it for around 4,400 and sell it for 8,900, which again is about a 200% profit. So the buy price is around 4,400. If we go down to the month graph, which is again important to do to have a look at what the average price has been around the month, we can see that 4,400 is actually a pretty reasonable price to buy it at. So even if we can't sell the item for 9,000, uh, we'll still probably make a bit of a profit. We're kind of just hedging our bets against the worst case scenario. So we'll come here, put in the blue dehyde chaps for around, well, I'll do 4,500. So there we go. We have three items in right now where we are primed to double our money on, which means we can easily turn 10k into 20k. And it is really easy to repeat this all the way up to tens of millions of GP. After that, the items become very competitive. In this very cheap item bracket, it's very easy to find items with 100% ROIs, 200%, 300%, anything's possible, and very low competition. Okay, we're just checking back in on our flips, and oh my god, I kind of feel bad a little bit, uh, but I don't. Anyway, we sold three monkey bones for 4k each, uh, we tried to buy some more, but that didn't happen, and we uh, sold the white headband for 8k, and well, we'll just pull out the blue dehyde chaps that we got for 4500, and if we sell these back for like 8 or 9k, we will have pretty much tripled our money in a very short period of time. So as I mentioned earlier, there are other ways to do this. Generally, I would just go to the wiki and look up all of the rewards for different clue scroll tiers, and just try to pick some items that fit your price range from there. The first option here is to still do research on GE Tracker, but just not use the day graph if you just have a free account. The month graph is actually pretty effective for items like this. For example, the white headband we can see we could easily buy for 3200 and sell for 6000 7000 or even 8000 However, another pretty viable option is to just guess, and I've suggested this a few times, and it actually works pretty well. If you have the Rune Light plugin installed, it'll show you the O's Buddy actively trade price as well. So honestly, for the Bandless Page 3, I would just, I don't know, put it in for 2558 who cares? And I'll give that a try, and then we'll maybe try selling it for the actively traded price, which was 5000 or 4000 Another clue scroll item here is the Adamant Plate Body T. Again, I just grabbed this right from the clue scroll reward table. You can see the actively traded price is around 12,000. So let's just maybe cut this in half. I try not to be too predictable. Like I won't just do exactly 7,000 because if someone else does that as well, uh, you'll be tying them. Let's do 7,123, whatever. And we'll put an offer in for the admin plate body. And then just pretty much repeat that a few times. To be honest, the offers will come through less often than by using GE Tracker, but it's really effective still. Now, another follow-up question I get pretty frequently is, can item sniping be done at higher tier items? And of course, yes, it can. Now, one disclaimer is the risk here is going to be pretty high. Doing these low tier items is pretty low risk because, well, I was only risking 1,000 coins or 10,000 coins. However, let's just go to 5 million here, for example. Now it's going to be a little more challenging to find items that you can snipe properly here because these high margin items that are expensive are actually still traded and on the radar of a lot of people. I would highly recommend attempting to find your own items that aren't even on GE Tracker because these are still going to be pretty contested even though they are not traded very much. Let's still come over here to the ROI and we'll see what items are at the top for the highest ROI. They're all going to be extremely cheap items. The Stronghold Notes book, what the hell? I don't understand why anyone would buy that. Anyway, so like I said, you kind of need to look up your own items and you really need to scrape to the bottom of the barrel for the rarest, most random items that there are. For example, one item I've done quite a bit, for example, is the mummy set. Extremely infrequently traded. If we go to the month graph, we can see that there are under 10 traded almost every single day. Another item I've done quite a few times is the Anku set. These are all clue scroll reward items where if someone gets it, and more likely than not, they don't want it, they're going to sell it in the Grand Exchange. And if you're the only offer in there, you could buy this item for an extremely discounted price. Now, you still have to be realistic 
Right? Like you're not going to put it in for like 100 GP because unless you get really lucky and someone just dumps it in for 1 GP, which is not likely on an item that's this expensive, I would put it in at more of a reasonable offer. You could try 19 or 20 mil and leave it in there for a while if you wanted. You can try to snipe an item at a ridiculous discount. However, I would only try that on cheaper items because like I said, it's extremely unlikely that someone's willing to risk 20 mil to just instantly sell it for 1 GP. However, with a cheaper item, like for example, maybe the top hat, this item, you probably have a decent chance of buying it for like 10k if someone just instantly dumps it in for 1 GP. Still not likely, but possible. In the background, I'm going to show you a few sneak peek clips of a video I'm going to be releasing next week. I'm going from 1 GP to a bond, pretty much doing item sniping. Anyway, anyway, guys, that's pretty much it for item sniping. One of my favorite ways of earning money, especially when you are extremely poor. It works with very little money. You can get extremely large margins from it. And it's really fun to do because you just see such a big reward for such a minor amount of investment. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, just leave a comment down below and I will try to get back to you. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.